Helen, I'm the Diddy Stitcher, my pronouns are she, her. It is Wednesday, the 7th of February. Normally I film on a Thursday, and if not, on a Friday. But Thursday and Friday is going to be really busy for me this week, and I have a lot to show, so I'm just going to film it now. Um, I was going to... It's 12 o'clock. I was going to film this morning, and then just time's got away with me. I've got a really cold nose. I have um, quite dark circles under my eyes and my hair is not playing nice. Um, but yeah, we'll just get on. You're not here for the fashion show. Um, so last week we pulled King of Swords. Um, Knowing the truth, but being open. But yeah, I think that was good. And a lot of people liked Tim Minchin. Had been introduced to Tim Minchin or liked Tim Minchin before and liked to see him again. So that was great. Thank you for indulging me um, in that. And yeah, I'm gonna try and do a storm pattern. I'll just like write it out. Something I do. I do remember that I've got some like lined paper type embroidery fabric. So maybe I'll do it on there as in like it's writing. I don't know, probably not. Cause I have to do it too. Anyway, la 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 la. This week video, we got the hanged one again. And this is two videos ago we had the hanged one. So when it comes up again, it makes me think that I didn't recognize the meaning that time it's like you need to li listen again listen again to this one um so i've read through multiple books and sources because last time i kind of took it as it's only you that's holding yourself here you've only got yourself to blame um that was that was what i took when I pulled it before. This time, I think it's just about being in waiting mode. And I hate waiting mode. Um, I think I probably, when this has come up, I'm like, am I in waiting mode? I don't know if I'm in waiting mode. I'm not in a like, if you don't know waiting mode, um, particularly affects um, those ADHD or ADHD tendencies. Um, if you have an appointment, say, in the afternoon, your whole day's screwed because you're just, you can't do anything because you're waiting for that thing, that phone call, or you have to go somewhere. So you couldn't possibly do anything else um, in the morning. That to me is like waiting mode. I don't have anything like particular today, but I feel like generally I'm in this kind of limbo. Um, I'm like, just I'm just waiting for the next thing. Um, I can't do anything until the next thing has happened. And that, you know, holds you back somewhat. Not necessarily in like, Physically, today I'm not going to do anything because I've got this thing next week. But mentally, you don't have the space for anything else. Any new creative thing or new ideas or whatever. Um, I'm trying not to be like that. Whether whether this is a, a warning not to be stuck in waiting mode or just an acknowledgement that you're in the waiting mode and it's for a purpose, I'm not sure. I have to think on that a bit more. Um, let's see, let me know if you're in waiting mode. I hope you're not, it's not a great place to be, but sometimes we learn from it. This keeps getting moved and I don't know. I noticed it was crooked this morning and I don't know if it's because of the last time I took it off. Oh, we've got ghosts. Anyway, on the subject of tarot, 
I do a kind of like, I try to, what I'm loving at the minute, not necessarily cross stitch. Um, like sometimes it's just like Pringles when I have like my obsessive food thing. It was Pringles over Christmas. Um, but today it's kind of like, it's a little bit of haul, but I guess what I'm loving is the, is the organization. And so it's not cross stitch haul, it's kind of tarot haul, slash crafty haul. I, w I will try and explain. So, um, the, the deck that I use to pull on here is um, Divine Feminine by Kukarina. And I also, at the time that I bought the deck, I bought um, the Tarot Journal. And I love journals, but I have a hard time actually writing in them because I like to keep them pretty and it's a it's a big thing that I have to get over. Um, so for the new year, I pulled a, a year um, spread. So it's like six cards across, four down. It's a lot of cards, um, as well as a covering card. So this was my pull and then here are my notes and I had to use another page. Um, and then a couple of days later, I did my husband's pull for the year. I've yet to write down the actual notes from it. But just so we can kind of look back, this generally like goes by quarter. So the four rows that you have, it's kind of like what's gonna happen in the immediate future and then long-term future. Um, or it could be like, you know, oh, over here is kind of November-ish. So in November, this might happen. That kind of thing. So because I'm trying to use this small, I need to get organized. So what I had before, I bought the, I bought like a PDF of just the, it's the Right Away Smith um, images like the whole deck and I print them out on sticker paper and I cut them out and I can stick them in and it's easier for me to then just stick them in and then write about them rather than like write each one down. It just helps with my process. And then I highlight them based on the suits. So um, purple is the major arcana, green is wands, pink is cut, blue is swords, yellow is pentacles. So just as a, as a, at a glance, I can see kind of, oh, there was a lot of cups in this pull. Cause I only print it out on, um, in black and white. Cause Inca, Inca print, printer ink is <laughs> expensive. Anyway. So what I had was a little bobbin box and so a, a compartment for each suit and then major arcana and then extra of these like little um, Ziploc bags. Felt very odd when they came through the door and I look like a drug dealer. I am not, it's for my tarot stickers. So that was good to have each one in a little bag. But then I was doing, I was putting all the stickers in here and then they all got messed up. So I'm like, I need some rigid like bits in between each one. So I do what I do and I look around and I see what can I repurpose into something else and I didn't have anything on hand. I was looking at like bobbin boxes that you can add more dividers to. And then I came across something that I thought was quite interesting. Um, I'm not really prepared, but here we go. 
this little thing um a zippy pouch keep it all together but it's for diamond painting drills um yeah sequins things so they're like you know tiny little tic-tac boxes almost so i've got the fools in there because i need i need to swap my system over but i thought i'd show you beforehand so it's got enough so I have Major Arcana, Cups, Mon Swords, Pentacles, and then there's enough along, and then there'll be some extra. Um, and then it's got a, a thing in the top for like my books, and I've got some of the my tarot swaps that I've done, I keep in there. Um, yeah, because they're all in this, like, foam thing. So they'll be able to come out without disturbing the rest of them. And then I know where they go back. And then I can, like, carry downstairs my little tarot um, thing. I thought that was quite good. It's got little stickers to put on the top of the little tic-tac box so I know which ones are which I was quite happy with that for a little diamond painting suitcase briefcase yeah so hopefully it makes me journal more and do more pulls do more pulls journal more just generally tarot more um but yeah i love organization i love finding new ways to use things like that um i was very happy so that's the, that's what i'm loving at the minute so after i film this i'm gonna go and change over all my little stickers and See if there's any drug dealers on my street that need little little tiny ziploc bags i should dispose of them carefully i will keep them in case there's another thing that i need to organize which there will be um so yeah oh and i've got this little pouch from innocent bones um from her tarot collection that i keep my um my decks in so i've got three decks in there got my trading deck um my astrology cards and then my Rider Waite Smith one and then I use the Cocorina one for filming <sighs> I like sharing that with you um right stitching I have two finishes I have four whips and some haul so let's get on it so two finishes I finished oh, I didn't post a picture of this one of the next one anyway this is the star tarot <laughs> more tarot um this is by light the moon studios um aka Ali misfit stitches on Instagram um this is the third one in her series I've stitched them all now. I need to FFO the sun and the star um, the same as I've done the moon and then I'm going to sit nicely on my table under the TV. But yeah, that was a quick one. Um, I used one DMC satin and two diamonds. Um... And I love it. I really love the monochromatic of it. I did change the little doodads in the corners. Um, I think they're supposed to be different on each card, but I wanted them to be the same. Um, but yeah, really love that. Really love stitching these. And then I thought I'll, I might stitch Michelle's 
Michelle Bendy's Three of Swords. Maybe, maybe I'll do it in the in the grey, or I'll do it as charted from the Hearts of a Pan box and just finish it like a card and and um, stick it with these as well. Yeah, that was one finish. Second finish was um, Damask Square. Let me get it all nice for you. Which way up does it go? This was a really quick stitch. So this is, I did like this bit down here. This is Rachel's project from the first Most Magnificent Ink Circles Round Robin that me, Rachel, Deanna and Rob got in a little bit late on, but that was fine. And Damask Square had been on my wish list and now that I've done like a little quarter of it, I don't think I need to stitch it anymore unless it comes up on another Ink Circles. Um, but this is a Be Stitch Me fabric and I love it. Um, I definitely need some Be Stitch Me fabric. Um, if you're in America and want to be floss um, fabric of the month buddies, let me know because I would love to, but I can't really justify doing it by myself and paying the shipping. So if we could work something out. I'd be grateful and then it also a silks for you silk which again is just beautiful um so not used be stitch me not used silks for you before and i'm in love with both and i need some more in my life um so yeah finish that and then i'll send that to diana for her to finish and then send back to rachel and then we'll all get our projects back very happy with that. Um, so then I started on my project of the second most magnificent ink circles around Robin. So I chose, oh, glare, forest flower. But I've changed the colours. I'm using this palette of Sulky and Aurifil. Um to kind of match um, from the first I'm doing After the Roses and that's got that kind of colour palette. It won't like match but I just like the colour palette. So this is what I've started and realised that as like After the Roses um, this is a colour completer's nightmare. And I'm not a colour completer, so that was a new information for me that some people don't like stitching patterns like After the Roses. Um, so I apologise in advance. Um, but yeah, I'm on team 40 count with Julia, who is organising the whole thing. Um, Kim, Crafty Teach DIYs, and Natty. Um, stitching at the um, Notion Queen, always linked below. Um, so we're all doing our projects on 40 count. Um, and I was a bit worried about using Sulky on 40 count, but it seems to be working okay. I don't think you could do smaller and I don't think you could do much like denser stitching, but I think for this it'll be okay. And I hope nobody hates me for it. Um, but yeah, I was waiting for my fabric of the month to come cause I switched to 40 count, but it was too dark. So this is what I've gone with. This is 40 count Cafe Olay. I'm using this a lot. This is what I'm using for a single sampler and Sleeping Bee. And I 
think I'll just have a little bit left on this side and I'll possibly measure and cut off and keep it with me for some quirky quakers, for my EPP quirky quakers. Um, and then that'll be the end of that fabric because I seem to have so much of it. Um, but yeah, got it on my nerd hoop because it's a bit too tight putting it on the Q-snap margin wise. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to see the rest of my teens. I've seen Julia's and Kim's and they look amazing. The colors that they've chosen. I feel very bland in comparison. I'm like, oh, it's cream linen and very traditional colors. Um, Kim in her wild ways just amazing colors i can't wait to stitch on them but i feel like giving kim this is a bit like i'm sorry i feel like i need to apologize anyway um so i'll keep stitching on that i just wanted to start it and see how i felt about it and i think i feel okay about it um that needs to go out end of March. So I've got time. That's absolutely fine. So I had a new start actually. Um I don't know where I saw it first. It all happened very quickly. I think somebody shared it on their stories. Um, and then I went to the designers page and they were like, it's a free pattern on my Facebook. So I'd quickly joined the Facebook, waited to be admitted and downloaded it immediately and then started it the next day. So this is tarot spread chart. This is just the mock-up by Witch's Garden Crafts. Um, so yeah, a new designer to me, but I've been wanting like some kind of tarot mat cloth to do some spreads on. And this is the, some people call it Celtic cross um, spread. And it's my husband's favorite spread. So I'm kind of doing it for him. Um, now the designer says that they size the, squares for a certain size of card if you stitch it on like 28 count I think um I just kind of looked at what was in my stash that I wanted to stitch it on and then I adjusted the size for the cards that I use and um, because most of my decks are quite a bit bigger um, I found out. So this is what I have so far. Just one kind of square. This is the, the card that's on its side here. So I have a little bit more this side. I'm hoping there's enough room. And then more this side. Um, I feel like there's not enough room. We will see, I will count it again. Um, this is a 28 count even weave, I believe. Um, I think it's Permin. It was a collection of fabrics that I got at like a, it was more like a sewing knitting shop than um, needlework, but they did have some linens and some even weaves and some Ada kind of cleared them out of because it was just on a shelf that looked kind of forgotten so if I I thought if I took the little bit left that they had it might give them a shelf back I, I 
don't know if they would have restocked what they had because they didn't have a huge selection. And then they had like DMC, but then they had more like pearl cotton for embroidery and lots of other kind of embroidery thread. There was like one random um, petite treasure braid in a clearance bin. I got a, whole, a card of petite treasure braid for 50p. So it was just a weird lot of fabric that I got. Um, we'll double check the counting on this because now I'm scared that I won't be able to fit. It will be tight margins, but I'm gonna do a like a pulled roll hem thing because it's gonna be a like a tablecloth almost. I'm keeping the back very neat. Um, but I also chose this silk. So this is like two ply silk. Um, so it's kind of thick. You don't divide it so it's working out kind of I'm doing one over two on 28 count and it's quite puffy so about I would say three DMC thick is this and I've had it for ages this is from um a lady called Tracy um what Mustard Made is their Instagram handle and they mostly dye yarn but they had this silk at a, at a market that I went to and I just loved it. So there's this kind of like pastel rainbow thing and then there's like this um, speckled thing so because I'm changing the size of the cards quite a lot I'll see what doodads I put round after and then probably in the speckle because I'm using the rainbow to kind of do the outlines and then I'll probably do something in the middle and I'll probably like write in what each card is and I'll because there's several different ways that you can do the, the Celtic cross and I'll see which one my husband likes the best the one that speaks to him most because you can have like it's like you and then what's covering you or like what the situation is and then what's holding you back or something like that there's lots of different interpretations and then I want to I want to write on it which one he likes um so yeah, it's very nice, very nice to just work on a 28 count even weave. Um, it's very quick, I can see it very nicely. Um, and then I'll, I'm gonna count to this side to make sure I've got enough room, but then I'll take it to Stitch North because it's easy to work on, but it's quite funky as well um so yeah oh this was the this is the card that i got from anna anna's books and stitches with our tarot swap and i just because i had my my new briefcase of stuff um this was kind of just available for me to check the size of a um of the square i think that fits like bang on and the colors are just perfect <laughs> with like the, the green and like the the pastel rainbow so i this is our this deck is already on my wish list but i think i need it even more just for this is that gorgeous? I can't remember what the name of this this is. I don't know where I've put my phone to check. 
put it in the description below if I remember. If not, remind me if you want to know. Um, but yeah, I like picked this up like after I started stitching and chosen the fabric and everything. And I was like, oh, well, that's that's perfect. I really hope it fits now. Anyway, happy to be stitching something tarot. Happy to be using gorgeous silk that I've had forever that I didn't know what to do with. So I'm just gonna put, the, put it away. It was a random new start and I shouldn't really be doing new starts. I need to put it on my, I need to put it on the board. Um, we'll see, it'll be a work in progress. It's a whip, that's the point. Hello, Jesus. Um, oh, that's all the way over here. The other thing that I've been working on that was in my plans from when I rolled my d20 dice, um, this is Grand Melagrano from Renato Parolin. Um, this is on a piece of linen banding that I think works out to about a 28 count and I'm doing it one over one and I got a lot more leaves and I wanted to finish this pomegranate so it will look, and I'm really loving the color. The only thing is, is this leaf here, for some reason has some shading in it. I thought it was just shading, but then I've looked at the rest of the pattern and no other leaf has shading. They're all just one solid color. So I think I will pick that out, maybe the whole leaf because it's tiny. It'll just be easier if I pick it all out and do it all again. Um, and stitch it in that solid darker green color because it's not that odd. It's not like, I think it's just a, a symbol error. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure why, but it's not as if it was one of the reds. It's just like a different color green. So you might not be able to see it, but I've looked at it too often now to just let it go. Um, when I've checked the whole pattern because it goes quite far down. None of the other leaves have that, so I'm gonna have to pick it out and, and do it again. But that's fine. Um, yeah, there's some backstitched like twigs. Um, but I'm gonna save that save the backstitch till the end just because it's going to be quite a long time on this one because it is rather tiny but it will be large um, and I don't want backstitch to get squished. There would be a lot, it'll be easy to knock it out once it's done but yeah um, so the my year goal on this is to do 50 rows down and I'm not hit that yet but I finished this kind of round of it so I'll not turn it upside down that was that and I think I've lost my needle oh well okay <clears throat> the other thing that I worked on was my model stitched um, between last video and now. I've done 2,666 stitches on my models. Um, that's all I can say about that, but there was a lot of stitching there. Um, hole? Where's my hole gone? I've only got, yeah, my fabric of the month. So this is Fiber on a Whim Fabric of the Month through the Patchwork Rabbit. So this was, this, this is 40 count old gold, old gold. Um, quite like the modeling on that. But yeah, I was waiting for this and I was hoping this neutral would be good for forest flower. Um, but it's, it's too dark but this will be it will be lovely for something so that's that it did take a while I paid the invoice for this like the 15th of December and it only came 
last week. I did email them and they were like, oh yeah, we're we're sending them out. But I haven't had a January invoice, so I don't know whether they're just skipping a month or I'm just off the list now for some reason. It's fine, because I probably should be saving some money for Canada. Um, but it was just, just a bit odd. So, I think that was all my haul. I'm waiting for some stuff from Cape Blanford, um, but I'll show you next time. Um, so plans, oh I had sent my Kid It Up swap, excuse me, my Kid It Up swap that Megan and um, Michelle had organised and my partner or whoever I sent to you, Erin, I think Erin, three cat stitching, um, got their package which was great because I was looking at the tracking and it was sat at Heathrow for about a week so I got a bit scared. Um, but I haven't had mine, Who are, I don't know who it's coming from, where it's coming from, I haven't had any tracking notification or anything but plan is to start it next Wednesday which is Valentine's Day because it was like a Valentine's Galentine's friendship a times thing to do this kid it up swap so the plan is to start whatever you got on valentine's day so that will be the plan if mine turns up if not it's fine it's not like i've got not, not a lot to stitch but yeah i forgot that i would actually get something as well because i love doing these things because i like making presents for people or like you know buying stuff for someone and surprising them it was good that I had kind of an idea of what they would like um but getting to choose and um I dyed some fabric and I did a conversion and it was I think Erin said it was the first fancy floss or first gentle arts that they were going to use um and the first blackbird design that they were going to stitch so yeah I was really happy with that but yeah I forgot that I would get something as well so I'm like just waiting in anticipation for that um and then other plans is I need I need to do a smalls exchange for Canada um Megan mentioned it and then Megan is it Megan stories and stitches I think she mentioned it on her floss tube and I was like, okay, like I need to, I need to get one done. So I need to choose a small something. I've never, I've never done a smalls exchange before. So I don't know what, I didn't know if there was a theme. Apparently there's not a theme. You just stitch something. I don't know. I'm just gonna have to stitch something and not think too much about it is my issue. I'll think too much about it. But yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to bring something so I could maybe participate. I don't want to not participate because I wasn't prepared. Does that make sense? Um, and then I've got my D20 for this round. So let's see what we're going to stitch on goal wise. It's 20. Let's see what we got. I decided, I think I said last time that I would change the dice once I got down numbers a bit but I think I'll just count and then come back if it's more than what I've got so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 sing a sampler finish the stuff in the boxes that's definitely not going to happen in the next two weeks but we'll um We'll get on that. Oh, I need to make a... I need to make a thing for tarot. Should I count again then? Because I missed out tarot. No, it's fine. I'll count it next time. Um... Okay, sing a sampler. And I've yet to do my February it's gonna fall down. No, it's fine. 
yet to do my February learning for Stitch for Pride, but it looks amazing um, from what I've seen on Instagram. Um, and then after I do my learning, I will do my stitching, but I, I, I like to like dedicate proper time to it rather than just read this little article and then get distracted and then watch this video and get distracted. I wanna like have a whole, you know, a good amount of time to look through everything and really, really take it in. So I haven't had, I haven't had that amount of time to do it, but that's fine. We've got the whole month. Um, so that, that's on my plans as well. Um, life stuff. Not a lot. I I'm, we're just in this waiting mode. Um, we went to a second hand baby sale at the weekend. That was very social battery draining. It was fine. We sold a few things. We didn't sell a lot. My cousin who we went with got rid of a load of stuff, which was great. Like we were there to kind of mainly support her. Um, she had like tons of stuff and like big things like high chairs and bouncers and um, Moses baskets and stuff. And she got rid of all of that. Um, I think the biggest thing that she went home with was a baby bath. So that was good. We sold a few things, not, not a lot. Um, but just the, the prepping, you know, like deciding how much you want for everything, having to interact with people, people, you know, wanting to haggle with you about, you know, your, your stuff, your, what your daughter used. It's like, oh, there's a lot, there's a lot of emotion there. Um, for me at least. Um, and then, you know, you're bringing everything home that you didn't sell and then, oh, I have to put it on Facebook Marketplace or like, there's just a lot. And I've been waiting, I had been waiting for that for a while, like anxiously, it was taking up a lot of mental energy. So when we came home that on Sunday with everything, I was just like, I just got, I can't, I can't deal with it right now. It's all still piled up in the kitchen. Um, and then Anna came home with a letter from nursery saying, um, you know, can all parents sit, bring, bring a bag in for the child with spare clothes because we're running out of like spare clothes that we have at nursery to give out and if if your child gets sent home in nursery clothes because they need to be changed for whatever reason can you return those nursery clothes um so that was good that I had all the stuff in the kitchen and I was like right what of this can I just give to the nursery and it gets it off my plate. I'm not selling it, but it gets it off my plate. So that was good. Um, yeah, and I'm kind of coming out of my fog of, I've taken pictures and put it on Facebook, but then I have to deal with Facebook people and I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that, but I don't just want to throw, you know, good things away. I tried to, um, donate to a baby bank that just, you know, puts bundles together for, um, new parents who need some help or, um, you know, the kids and families that have nothing and they just get, you know, they get referred by social services or, um, whatever and they can just get it, but they only have certain donation days and then they have certain things that you can donate because you know they need five years and up clothes because they've got a surplus of not to five clothes at the minute and all of Anna's clothes are not to five at the minute so that's difficult when you like want to give stuff and 
you know, they, they've got limited resources to take stuff, so. But I don't, I don't just want to throw things away. Um, anyway. Talking through. Talking through that. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think I raced through that. I feel like I missed something. Um, right, I'm going to go back to work. I will talk to you later. Take care. Bye.